this is um, work we did in class. Um, so, review of translation. Learn about clockwise and counterclockwise and quadrants. So, these are the quadrants. And then we did these. Okay, these. And then hopefully we get to this, but if not, here it is. The answers. And I'll do the last back of the last page. Okay, rule for 180. Let's do 180 clockwise so you'll see. Uh, 180 degrees create a line, you know, like on a protractor. It's like that creates that line. That's 180 degrees. So H, coordinate for H, start with the coordinate. That is negative 5, um, negative 3. Okay, so um, that is zero degrees right here. 180 degrees clockwise, that's 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3, 6, 9. Right? Um, starting at 6 o'clock, you're moving past the 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, so in that direction. So you're moving in, in that, that direction. So that's 0, 90, 180. So your answer is in this quadrant right here, okay? Anywhere in that quadrant. We call this quadrant one. Okay, 180 degrees, gonna create a straight line directly to it, the exact same spot on this quadrant. So it'd be right there. So, it's the exact same spot on that quadrant. So H prime then, it's going to be the exact same spot. It's 5, 3. Right there, just in quadrant 1. That is, you draw it passing the origin. It's nice, straight, like that. That's 180 degrees, and that we label H prime. Okay, 180 degrees counterclockwise. Counter is the opposite of a clock, so you get 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So this is 0 degrees where the L is. Counter is going from here to nine o'clock, from nine o'clock to six o'clock, six o'clock to three o'clock. The numbers are going down zero. So this one is zero degrees, therefore this is 90 degrees, 180 degrees. So our answer will be at 180 degrees in this quadrant right here. The dot would be there. So. The letter L is in, it's 4, 4. So it's going to go to here at 4, 4. In this case, L prime is negative 4, negative 4. So the rule is, I forgot to put the rule. Notice the rule, right? Essentially, you start with your X and your Y. The rule is then, notice the x and y stays the exact same number, just its opposite. Just a negative, that's the rule. So the rule is stays the same, if you want to put it in words, it's the same, just opposite. 
That's how we show it in math. Okay. All right, let's do this here. Make sure that you put the additive inverse and visible on. And then um, I'm going to do, doesn't matter which side first, you can always do right side first. If you want, you have 4x plus negative 8. Too big of a pen, too thick of a pen. Um, distribute there, get negative 5x plus 6x right there, negative 4x plus 6, add 4x, add 4x, oops, I made my 4 look like a 6, huh? Get you 0 there, 0 plus 6 is 6, this is 8x, Add 8 to both sides. And then you divide last by 8. x equals to 1. 14 divided by 8. Um, it goes in one time. Remainder 6. So 1 and 6 over 8. Or 1 and 2 over Four. No, 3 over 4. Divide by 3 to both of them. Okay, this is called one solution. And this last one there, I give you guys plenty of space. Huh? I'm going to, if there isn't a number, you're distributing a 1 there. Do not do that, that's wrong. Bring down the 4x plus 3x plus 7. Okay, these two are alike. Get 7x. Plus a negative 7. Okay, combine these. They're alike. 7x plus 7 equals 7x plus a negative 7. Minus 7x to both sides. 0 there, 0 there. We got no solution. Okay, and that's it.